Hello everyone, and a good day to all of you. I wanted to do a video today to talk about how to convert Peltor Comtac Defenders, as I have here specifically Comtac 3s, to be comms ready. What I'm going to be making this compatible with in this video specifically is a Yesu VX6. However, most of this will still apply even if you have, for example, the very common Baofeng radio and a bunch of others. And the part where this will differ actually is very little, and I'll talk about that towards the very end of the video. It's with the adapter that you'll use. But we're going to go ahead and get started here with the most likely the very first part you'll want to get for these defenders to start you know, upgrading them into being comms capable is to get the boom microphone itself. So this is the MT3305. Make sure to get the correct microphone. This might be superseded in the future. Uh, if I find out about that, I'll try to put that in the comments below, but just make sure you're getting the right model. I actually almost made the mistake of picking up the wrong model myself. Uh, a pretty good way to identify this is by the foam wind cover right here that is over the microphone itself, as you can see. They do have another model that is pretty similar and looks like it probably would be compatible, but um, I'm not totally sure if it is. And Either way, this one I believe would be a better microphone anyway. And a big difference with that one is it doesn't have this covered. So just keep an eye out for that. So once you pick up this microphone, what you're going to get with this MT3305 is just this right here. So what you're going to do is take your defenders and on whichever side you want the microphone to go on, usually this will be your non-dominant side, your non-dominant shooting side. So in my case, I'm going to take this left cover here and pop this off. This is just a rubber cover. The first time you do it, it's going to be pretty tight. I've done this a few times because I was testing some stuff before doing this video, so it's pretty loose in my case. If it is an issue, you can just use uh, kind of a screwdriver. Be very careful to just slowly pry it down a bit right there. But once you get it off, just like that, take the boom microphone and you're going to align if you look at this post here, see that notch right there? That is going to go right in to this exact same notch here and see light through it on the microphone. Now this is going to lock it in pretty tightly, so do make sure that you don't want to you know, move it to the other side or anything like that. It's not impossible to get out, but it is pretty difficult. And then just kind of rotate it and pop it into place. And we're good here. So this is all attached. Can just move that out of the way for now. Now, this plug right here, it's going to be able to plug into here. That's not where you want to put it. The next part that you're going to want to get, FL6AF, left side boom harness. Of course, if you're mounting this on the right side, make sure to get the right side harness instead. But what you're going to do, this is a NATO plug, as you can see, which we're of course going to need a, an adapter for, which I'll get to later. But for right now, go ahead and take the female end of this harness here and plug the male end of the boom microphone itself into here, just like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. doesn't want to pop out on its own or anything. So that's all good. Now the, as you can see, there's a male and a female end here. Taking the male end from the harness that is going to be what you're going to plug into the back of your Peltors here, left side in my case. Again, keep in mind if you're getting the right side harness, then that goes in the right side instead. Just like so. Now, if you happen to have a NATO radio, congrats, you're done. Um, for everyone else, you will need a adapter. This was kind of the point that I got caught up on a lot when I was just setting this up over the past month and a half-ish as I was waiting for stuff to come in. This is the Disco 32 push to talk adapter, specifically for the Yesu. Now, as I said at the start of the video, the only difference that you're going to have if you have a Baofeng is just get a Kenwood adapter instead, because that's the plug they use. Um, Disco 32 also sells a bunch of other plug types. Just make sure that you get the right one for your radio if it's not one that I have in this video. But Yesu waterproof, that's the one that you'll need for the VX6. You're going to take the NATO plug from your wiring harness from the Peltors themselves. You have the female end right here. This is for the NATO plug. Just simply pop that into there. 
Again, making sure we got a nice secure fit. You might also want to consider putting a bit of electrical tape. I'm probably going to do that later or some sort of camo wrap or something just to keep water out a little bit better right there. And then taking this end right here, this is going to change depending on what type of adapter you actually bought. In my case, this is the Yesu. So on this specific Yesu, you're just going to open this up right here at the very top and this will just thread right in. And actually, since I am threading this in, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out so it doesn't get a bunch of kinks in the cord itself. So I just thread that in until it's hand tight. Now I'll go ahead and pop this back in here. And that's it. Now, make sure, of course, that is plugged in all the way. So this is going to be your push to talk from now on. You just push that in right there and you're gonna be good to go. Of course, test this before you actually intend to do anything serious with it and make sure everything is plugged in right and everything is working. And then, yeah, as long as all the parts are in good working order, then that should be all that you wanna do. One more thing I did wanna mention, by the way, on this Nexus or this push to talk adapter. When I was first doing research on this part, as I said, this was a pretty big uh, point that I got caught up on a lot. So there is a lot of adapters out there. Uh, I made, I almost made the unfortunate mistake Thankfully I didn't, thanks to seeing some other reviews on it, of uh, picking up one of these adapters on Amazon for a, a Baofeng, because that's what I had at the time. Uh, those are not amplified. Make sure to get a amplified Nexus. I think there might be others out there. Disco 32 is probably the most common and easy to find, and they also work really well. But with this microphone, you do need the amplified push to talk. And a lot of those other ones that you see on like Amazon or whatever, they will work, but they're not the correct, they're not amplified. So it's gonna sound really bad when you're trying to speak to other people. You'll, you'll be able to hear other people fine, but uh, not the other way around. And the other thing I wanted to say is just, um, I, I showed this with Comtact 3s. Uh, the reason for that is uh, most of the walkthrough on setting up the harness itself and the push to talk mic. There's another pretty good video out there already by I believe First Source Wireless that uh, talks about setting this up and that's where I got most of the information on what parts I need. But um, there's also a lot of misinformation out there and I think even they themselves in their own comments were saying that you can't do this on a Contact 3 headset. You can. You absolutely can. Only thing you need to watch out for, uh, and I can't speak for every Contact because I haven't really studied them all and I'm not totally sure, but all you got to do is just make sure that those plugs are the correct type right there. If the ones on the back of your contacts look like this, you're going to be able to follow this video exactly as I talked about and do the exact same thing for whatever radio you have, so long as you can find a Nexus that'll adapt to it. So I just took a bit of time to get all the cables sorted out on this setup here. I wanted to go ahead and show that this is actually working. So how I'm going to do that is I have my microphone here. Uh, I'm going to put it next to this Yesu on the table here. And I'll use the push to talk on this Peltor to talk to this. And then I'll switch it around. So then I'll put this microphone that I'm holding. I'll put this microphone into the Peltors. And then I'll use the push to talk on this Yesu that's currently on the table. Uh, and just do the exact opposite, just so you can see that both incoming and outcoming transmissions are working. So, we're going to go ahead and show first that outgoing transmissions, relative to this, are working. Outgoing transmissions test, using the push-to-talk notice right here on my gear itself. So I'm switching things around now, as I said, I'm going to move the microphone into here and do the opposite. Same thing, now doing an incoming transmission test. You should be able to hear me through those belt doors right there. So that's it. Uh, seems pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I thought I'd make this video anyway because I put a uh, quite a few hours of research into this for what I think now is probably pretty straightforward, but um, I don't know. It can get kind of convoluted at times. So let me know if you have any other questions on this or if there's anything else you want to add. Otherwise, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one.
Take care.